Can you do another video on stabilization with the Nexus 6P? It seems much more stable on Android N Preview 3. Justin, I had another video planned today, but after I saw this comment, I had to test it out. It's like I can never say no to Nexus stuff. Before I even start this test, I just want to talk about the Nexus 6P in general when it comes to video recording. If you've been following my channel for a while, you kind of know how I feel about video recording and image stabilization on the Nexus 6P. Now the Nexus 6P does not have OIS, and while this is my favorite phone to date, this is my biggest gripe with the phone. Well it's either the lack of OIS or some horrible software that Google has yet to fix. I am not too thrilled about it. Video quality, yeah, I'm very happy with the video quality, but as far as video stabilization it lacks OIS and that makes a big deal when recording video. It is definitely the number one thing that I have an issue with on the Nexus 6P. Now I am running Android N Developer Preview 3. I don't know if that's going to have any effect on video quality or image stabilization or video recording at all but hey that's what we're testing it for. Maybe the software side of image stabilization has gotten better, like the Moto X Pure Edition. That phone doesn't have OIS, but it performs really well. I can feel confident walking around with the phone, recording video, and not really worrying about it shaking too much. Again, the Nexus 6P has a 12 megapixel rear camera, and it doesn't have OIS. That's something that the phone struggles with. Again, it is something that I'm going to test out with Android N Developer Preview 3, so we'll see how it goes. Now, before I start testing it with other phones, I kind of just want to do a one on one with the Nexus 6P just so we can take a look at video quality see if it's something that is suitable that looks good the 6P is definitely one of my favorite phones to use that's why I always keep coming back to it I love the fact that it has stock Android and that it gets the newest updates when it comes to software I mean if you don't have a phone other than a Nexus then you're not going to be able to get any of these developer previews for Android N and all in all the Nexus 6P is still a well-rounded performer six months later seven months later but as I've been talking throughout this whole thing how does the video quality look how does the audio sound these are other things to pay attention to when video recording other than just image stabilization Remember, again, the Nexus 6P does not have OIS. It does not have optical image stabilization. But when you watch this video as I'm walking, does it look okay? Okay, so on the left is the Nexus 6P, on the right is the Samsung Galaxy S7. Again, the Nexus 6P has no OIS, but the Samsung Galaxy S7 does. On the software side, both phones have video stabilization enabled. The software video stabilization. So I'm going to walk around with this for a little bit, maybe test out the audio as well. See how the Nexus 6P fares against the S7, and I'm going to do another test with the iPhone 6S Plus as well. The S7 and the iPhone 6S Plus are my two best phones when it comes to video stabilization. Stabilization. I've heard some really excellent things as far as video stabilization goes with the Xperia Z5, but I haven't had a chance to test one out. And I kind of don't want to get one because I know the Xperia X performance is maybe due in a couple months, so I'd rather just save my money for that. As I'm looking at the camera now, I'm noticing that the Nexus 6P is showing a good amount of like shakiness or stuttering. And this is like a real leisurely paced walk, so it's nothing like super fast. I'm just wondering how good or how bad the video stabilization will be. And now the other phone that I have hooked up here is the iPhone 6S Plus on the right. Again, the Nexus 6P on the left. We'll test out the image stabilization on that and see how it looks. If I didn't mention it already, this entire video is being filmed at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Okay, so 
so I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. This might be a quicker video, but at least you now know if Android and Developer Preview 3 has made any significant change in video stabilization.